thank the South City Source Giving you all of the news about every single course Whether it's sports or something that's important Over there, sort in, paper by paper So all of us will know what's going on now or later Announcements and segments, you know we make them cool The Source gives the freshest buzz from around the school Keeping up to date with the school-related news Leaving you entertained is what we love to do <laughs> Go. <laughs> San, San Francisco High School. These are your daily announcements for Monday, March 19, 2013. My name is Fonzie. My name is Mana. Um, Want to see the teachers and students go head-to-head -head in a basketball game? Come out this Thursday, March 21st from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m. Tickets are $1 with ASB and $2 without. Pizza and drinks will be sold. First five people at the door will get a free slice of pizza. Attention all students. Beginning Tuesday, March 19th, there will be a tidy sweep every first period. All students must be prompt to their first period classes. Also be advised that tardy sweeps may occur unannounced or announced or unannounced throughout the day. Uh, the Supports of the Troops Club is collecting donations in third period class all week to be sent to military members in Afghanistan. The third period class with the most don donations will receive a surprise suggested items included include cookies, candy, books, cards, hand wipes, Slim Jim, and cash. Give any money to Miss Bella. It will be used to mail the boxes for ideas. See the donation list on the flyer in your class or talk to a club member or Miss Bella. No canned food or clothes, please. Hey, juniors, didn't get your corsage or boutonniere for your prom yet? Girl, don't trip. <laughs> Come by the kiosk today at lunch to buy a package for $25 or individualize yours for $15 each. Customize your own. The last day to order is this Friday. Seniors, the clock is ticking for those that have not ordered their cap and gown. You have less than two weeks left to order your cap and gown. Don't let this opportunity pass you by. Auto Club <laughs> meeting Wednesday at lunch. Yearbook picture will be taken and we will discuss a car show on April 19th. Let's make this happen. Attention, NHS. We have a meeting Thursday, March 21st. People must come to help plan the brawl tournament. And now we have a segment. 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 Now. Hi, this is Brianna with the South City Source. I'm interviewing Ms. Peyton, the senior AVID teacher here at South City. So Ms. Peyton, what made you choose to teach AVID? Well, I feel like AVID represents all of the goals that I have as a teacher to help my students to have the opportunity when they leave school to go to a four-year college and have the same experiences that I had. And also it opens up a lot of opportunities to them, but it also supports students while they're in school and then when they get into college to get through school. So I really like that. What kinds of things do you teach your students? A lot of it is building college level skills, so analytical reading skills, critical writing skills, um, organization, note taking, group work, and then also we do a lot of college visits and breaking down what it, what's a UC, what's a CSU, what's a private school, what's, their, what's the difference between those schools and um, finding the best fit for them. Hi, I'm Brianni from the South City Source and I'm interviewing Alejandro Pariawa. So Alejandro, why did you join AVID? I joined AVID because it'll help me uh, It'll help me in the road of applying to a four-year university. It's Brianna from South City Source, interviewing Andrea. How does this, being a part of AVID help you when applying to college? Um, being a part of AVID helped me apply to colleges because I actually did it. I don't think if I wasn't AVID, I probably would have been lazy. Um, so, thank you, AVID. <laughs> hey, South City, are you talented? then you should sign up for City Night Lights Talent Contest. Singers, models, performers, comedians are welcome. Come by B8 at lunch to sign up and show us what you got. Congratulations to the 2013 South City Speech Team. This past weekend, we qualified 10 students to the state tournaments. They are Katie Olson, Cesar Gomez, Javier Ramos, Jacqueline Kong, Brian Zaldana, Diego Perez, <laughs> Gramuel Aguas, Darlene Lada, Jeffrey Antonio, and Francesca Natividad. Hey everyone, 
Come to the Brawl Tournament this Friday, March 22nd, for food, prizes, and a raffle. Tickets are being sold by, from NHS members to compete, and it is $5 to play, and Mario Kart is 3 Go play, Go to play Super Smash Bros. Brawl this Friday in the cafeteria. Hey, are you interested in joining ASB? If you want to run for office, there, there is a mandatory meeting on Wednesday, March 20th at lunch in B8. Or if you want to join a commission, there is a mandatory meeting on Thursday, March 21st at lunch in B8. Hope to see you all there. Students, especially seniors, please be sure to serve all overdue detentions and Saturday schools. You will not be able to purchase senior ball bids with overdue detentions or Saturday schools. Seniors, you will not be able to walk across the stage at graduation with overdue discipline. Those events will be here before you know it. Take care of them now. Students will not be allowed to serve detention in the attendance office at any time. No ex expect ex exceptions will be made and no tears will be cried by the deans. This is your responsibility. Do not wait until the last minute. Detentions occur Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday in room M2 and campus cleanup is on Tuesday meeting meeting in the attendance office please check the detention print out in the attendance office to see if you're overdue detentions even if you don't think you overdue you have overdue detentions reminder the dress code is always in effect shorts and skirts need to reach past fingertips when arms are extended at your sides this applies to shorts and skirts worn with tights as well just as a friendly fashion tip, leggings are not pants, especially when you can see through them. Man. Bare midsections are not okay, even under sheer tops. Spaghetti straps and bare shoulders must be covered. It is school, not the beach. I say it every year. Let's, let's dress like respectable young people. Yours truly, Miss Nichols. Seniors, ball is coming up soon as well as graduation. Please take the responsibility to clear your bills as soon as possible. Mrs. Delgado in B5 and Ms. Mitchell in the library have to be off campus for several days in the next few weeks, so opportunities to, to clear your bills will be limited. That's why we are reminding you now. Don't forget, the, don't forget the book room in the library can no longer accept checks or bills. We can only accept cash or money orders. Attention, seniors. Ball is right around the corner and will, not, and will be there before you know it. Bids will be on sale from April 8th to April 12th. That means guest passes are due on March 25th. Forms can be picked up in the attendance office. And now we have another segment. Another one. Woo! so nobody gets tricked and you understand exactly what you got to do. Everybody understand? Say yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, South City. This is your testing tip of the day. Follow the directions closely. Uh, and the WAD annual happening once a year. And now it's time for the pledge. <laughs> I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Uh, Don't forget to donate we'll, your pennies. Yeah, donate. Woo! Good cause. Leukemia. Bad. Help. Help them. Be, be fresh. Be fresh. <laughs>